Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mariola and uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel after such a long break. I can be a bit stiff uh, because of that, so do forgive me. Um, I just needed to take some time off at the end of the year to simply be with my family, to recharge my batteries for the new year and to start with, with new energy. Today I wanted to talk about my essentials for winter capsule wardrobe from different perspectives. We all have different clothes, but we all have the same categories and it's tops, bottoms, outerwear, uh, shoes and accessories. And that includes everything you need for winter. Now I will be talking through each category and I'll tell you what's important for me, how my wardrobe looks like and how I put things together. But I wanted to focus on elements or aspects of our wardrobes that make them more versatile, practical and what's really important for me keeps it more interesting so I don't get bored with my clothes. So let's get started. To have a really versatile and practical winter wardrobe, you need to focus on different tops. And what I mean here exactly, different fit and different weight. So for example, you can have uh, something fitted like this long sleeve um, silk and cotton top or my navy uh, merino wool top. So this is um, something that goes great with a wide leg trousers like the ones I'm wearing today. Any color, because of the neutral shade of this top, it will go with any trousers. But again, I will pair it with something wider, something more voluminous at the bottom. You can style this top underneath your shirt, underneath your chunky jumper, so when you go inside uh, like a cafe, you can just remove the chunky jumper and you have this very nice pretty top with some jewelry, for example. And the second uh, must for winter for me is a really warm cashmere jumper. This is very oversized, it's voluminous, it's long, so you'll pair it with different things and you'll achieve different outfits. This one is great just to throw on when, uh, for example, I'm going in the morning to drop my girls to school or in general um, it's cold and I'm going to shops. So now this one can go with a straight leg jeans, either white or blue. A straight leg cropped trousers will go perfectly with this jumper. A nice pair of uh, boots or maybe high top converse. A great outfit. I can see it with a nice maxi coat. Now equally I would wear this jumper with a mini skirt or a midi skirt. Just tuck it in in the front because it just you know you need some balance so you can't just leave it loose unless you wear it with a leggings with nice long boots. I don't think leggings are out of style. We all wear leggings or some kind of uh, some form of leggings so um, if you like them, wear them. Another great option for winter is a turtleneck or roll neck. You probably saw it in my previous video. I love this jumper. I would say this one is fitted but not skin tight. And it's a great in-between weight. It's, um, you know, it's not too thick. It's not gonna make you look bulky, whatever you pair it with. It accentuates your figure really nicely, especially when you roll up your sleeves. I really like this relaxed but very uh, chic look. You know, it's very Parisian and very elegant. So even if you just pair that with a pair of jeans or simple wide leg trousers again and converse or any boots, I think this is gonna be a really nice a winter outfit. Now this jumper, I forgot to mention this one, this jumper it's kind of cropped, not too much, and it's boxy. Highly recommend this one. This is made from 100% from merino wool, 
very nice and warm. Plus, it's a really nice style of jumper because it's got this polo v-neck which allows you to showcase your beautiful jewelry. A nice um, simple necklace and pair of earrings are gonna pop up so much more with this kind of jumper. So this is a very different type of a jumper that uh, again gives you more versatility, more ideas to style your clothes in general, uh, which I'm all about. I love to be creative with my wardrobe instead of getting new clothes again and again uh, because we will never understand our style to the maximum if we keep buying new stuff. We need to just focus on the things we have in our wardrobes and try to pair them together. And that's why I'm talking about different weight, different length, different fit. You can create so much more with versatile pieces. Tops alone, no matter how many uh, jumpers and shirts, different tops you have in your wardrobe, will not give you enough versatility and fun in your wardrobe. In autumn, winter and the beginning of uh, spring, my favorite style of trousers are wide leg. Actually, wide leg are probably my favorite style of trousers all year round. <laughs> It's just um, something I feel very comfortable in. It's very put together. Again, no matter what color you choose, they will always look so much more interesting and chic than just your pair of blue jeans. Wide leg trousers are very easy to wear with anything really. I just wouldn't go for something very oversized on top or something very long, like my uh, cashmere jumper because Yes, I wear it together, but it's so much material that sometimes it swamps me. So I love the trousers with my fitted uh, top, with my turtlenecks, with a shirt maybe, and they look great paired with sneakers or high top Converse. And you know, I've always seen Converse on others and I like that they add um, so much freshness and they make the whole look more modern but they also look great with a straight leg crop trousers uh, I have my well I'll show you in a cutaway but I have my black trousers which are my most worn in winter uh, and these are uh, vintage from men's department you absolutely can wear your cropped trousers or cropped jeans uh, for that matter in winter my favorite way to do it is to wear nice boots, something slim, uh, something that goes quite high, or my converse again. <laughs> so you don't have this gap between your shoe and your trousers because you don't want that in winter. You want to be warm. Also, the great thing about such ankle shoes or ankle boots is that they uh, show the slimmest part of your leg. You're gonna look very balanced and much slimmer. And that's what we want anyway. This is the perfect style of trousers for me. And it goes with so many different tops and so many different coats, which again, I will talk about a little bit later. So I also wear jeans in winter. I mostly wear my white jeans, which you can see here, I have two pairs. So I like to wear my jeans with any jumpers that I have, even the more oversized ones. Now, of course, because it's winter, I would just wear them with my boots, also with my Converse to create this very nice, light, neutral outfit. Um, and such outfit, you know, we can pair that with a beige jumper and beige Converse, and that's a really nice, neutral outfit but of course you need to be careful with the weather it, if it's too wet i would just skip that if you don't like too much white in winter just pair it with a long darker coat something that covers the white jeans first of all it's more practical and second you'll feel more comfortable more yourself like your style it can be a really long black coat or brown 
anything, anything will go with white jeans. Wait, I forgot to mention one pair of trousers that I've been loving this winter and I have been wearing them a lot. My vintage leather trousers. After I removed the lining, this horrible polyester lining, first of all, it's so much nicer on my skin. Um, you know, it looks and feels like suede, but I'm sure there is more professional word for that. They fit much better now. They are warm. <laughs> you know, it's thick leather, of course. They are really great addition to your wardrobe. They add a really nice texture. They add something interesting to your outfit, even if you wear all black outfit. So these trousers, cashmere jumper, a nice uh, Chelsea boots or some kind of patent leather, again, to add something interesting, or your high top Converse. I only started wearing them and loving them so much without the lining. So I don't know how, can you tell me in the comments how you feel about leather trousers? Do you love them and why? <laughs> or do you hate them and why? Now to finish the bottom part of my wardrobe, I wanted to show you some skirts. I prefer mini skirts in winter and a long maxi or midi skirts in the summer. Maybe because I can wear black tights with them that are slimming. I can wear my tall boots, knee-high boots with them. So again, it covers my legs, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I've got two here, both are thrifted. This one is from a British brand, Whistles. I really like the structure of it and the fit of it. It's amazing, it just sits so well in your waist. It doesn't move up and down. And this one is so beautiful and soft. Very thin leather, I like that. Because of the texture, it adds so much to your outfit. I love my mini skirts with big oversized jumpers. And here in this case, I don't mind that it's long, that it's boxy, baggy. Can you see with this jumper I'm wearing? Because it's cropped and it's very boxy. And with this one, um, of course, black tights. I know when it comes to footwear, with the skirts. The opinions are divided, but I think they go right with either knee-high boots, I would just say maybe the flat ones, the loose ones, uh, because that just looks more casual, you can wear it daily, you don't have to worry about looking too dressed up. But they also look great with your combat boots, your Chelsea boots, especially if it's in the same color as your tights. There's no breakdown, in your leg and so it's one color and they always keep your ankles slim. I also wear my slip skirt in autumn and winter. It's very feminine, very slinky, very shiny so it's got this beautiful um, texture, quite elegant so I need to pair it with something more oversized, something more uh, masculine perhaps. As much as I like the combination of knee-high boots with the midi skirt, I feel like it is a bit conventional and safe. Um, and I disagree with some people's obsession that you mustn't have a gap between your boots and a midi skirt. Sometimes it's just not possible. And I feel like it may swamp you, especially if you are petite. I'll admit that I feel more grown up in the knee-high boots and the younger and modern in Chelsea boots. So I feel it's just a very personal choice. Plus, the outfit doesn't have to be perfect and aligned with all fashion rules. The most important thing is how you feel in your outfit. Remember to try different coats with your midi skirt. I like both short and maxi, but maybe because they match with the color of the skirt. For winter, I prefer my long coats, simply because they keep me warm. They cover my whole body from uh, neck to my ankles and it's all one and done. It's very practical, it looks very good, it's very chic. So I always say go for maxi, maxi to midi. My favorite black wool coat is this um, 
oh, from the brand I cannot remember now, so I'll just put it on the screen. It's a French brand that I found uh, about two years ago, I think, in TK Maxx. It's 50% uh, alpaca and 50% virgin wool, so it's such a good composition. Very warm coat. I also have my brown, like taupe brown coat, which is um, significantly thinner and lighter than this one, although this one is 100% wool, but again, it's, it's the weight. Of, of the coat. Um, it's a lovely coat, um, just not as great for a really cold days. I wear this coat with literally everything in my wardrobe, from wide leg trousers to cropped trousers with, um, with my Converse. I love this look of wide leg trousers, a Converse or sneakers and a really long coat. Here you can see my teddy coat. This is quite old now. Again, it adds something interesting. It looks really nice with all black outfit, a really nice black crossbody bag. I also like to pair it with my uh, white jeans and I would just make that um, outfit that I mentioned before all very light, neutral, white jeans, beige jumper and sneakers or again, high top trainers because you can cover that gap between your shoe and the jeans, so you're all very nice and snuggly. And this coat, um, nice white hat, I think that's a really nice combination, very cozy. Now the next um, style of a coat that I absolutely love, and it's been kind of my obsession, maybe since last year, is a cropped uh, boxy a wool coat and this is very much Asian street style inspired. Uh, such coat is very flattering, it makes your legs look so much longer and it keeps proportions really nice. I would probably wear pretty much everything with this coat, just avoid a really tight skinny jeans or leggings with that unless you wore it with a longer jumper so it covers your bottom and uh, knee-high boots like this, uh, you know, riding boots. It keeps it very casual but smart at the same time. Yeah, but my favorite way is with wide leg trousers, straight leg jeans and with my midi skirt. Speaking of uh, cropped and boxy coats and jackets, um, I have this new uh, addition to my wardrobe and this is me completely breaking my own rule about uh, the best composition for winter uh, because this is just uh, plastic. <laughs> it just fits exactly the profile, the, the style I'm after right now. It goes with so many things. I'm pretty sure if I look after the jacket, uh, it will stay in my wardrobe for years and I love it. I know I'm gonna wear it. I'm just being realistic. I am quite strict with myself when uh, it comes to shopping, I try not to get anything plastic or as little as possible. I try to shop secondhand as much as possible, especially for my daughters. So I think one odd thing like that is okay. So just a very quick mention, um, my puffer coat. So this is a real uh, down or redown uh, jacket from Kos. Uh, I think two or three years ago and they have exactly same style every year they bring it back it's a really good jacket for city because it's very long it's uh, you know it's got this um, style cut of a, a wool coat minus the hood but you know hood is practical you need such things with your puffer coats it's really nice it's very comfortable you can still wear a scarf with it hat some nice combat Chelsea boots and it still looks very nice and chic. Now the last category is accessories. I cannot leave without scarves, hats and gloves. My very favorite pair. They not only keep you warm but they will look interesting. For example this scarf. Amazing cashmere, really good quality and it's such a big Carve, that I can just wrap it around, create some nice silhouette, I can 
use it. I actually used it on a plane when I was flying to and from Poland. So that was such a great addition. Such scarf will always make your whole outfit look so much more chic and put together. With that, I always either wear or just keep it in my coat a beanie. It's a must. I love my cashmere and merino beanies. They are not uh, itchy. They look really good. Even with a really elegant and classy coat, they go with everything. I would recommend going for uh, neutral colors, something black, something beige or gray, uh, depending on what colors you wear, or navy. Navy is a really good color, more uh, flattering, uh, but you know me, I love my blacks. Or maybe if you're a uh, whole wardrobe is very neutral, you can go for something quite of a statement, like a, a red hat or blue hat. That's what my daughter loves. She loves her blue hat from Arcade. And one more thing I cannot leave without because I'm always cold. Did I mention that? I'm always cold. <laughs> as much as I love the beautiful leather gloves, the five finger gloves, they are not warm. <laughs> At least in my case, they just never work. So, I have the next best thing, which is mittens. Mittens are genius. So these are made from leather and they have a down filling. First of all, I like them because they're warm, but also they look so different, so interesting. I always feel like they make my outfit more fun. I don't like to be too serious with my outfits unless I'm going to an opera. And the last thing when it comes to accessories, I think jewelry is a must. And especially in winter with your chunky stuff. Most of the time we forget we actually wearing some kind of jewelry. So just before you leave, look in the mirror and think, how do you feel today? Do you feel like a chunky necklace or do you feel like a dainty uh, layered necklaces and a simple pair of earrings? You can always wear your watch. Watch is such a beautiful, practical accessory. I love watches. Some kind of bracelet. Whatever speaks to you, whatever you like. You can go for layered rings instead of the necklace or earrings. It's really up to you. But I think jewelry dresses up the whole outfit. Uh, one category I have to mention, which is not really a category, it's just some elements that I like to incorporate to my daily outfit sometimes. Just something more fun, more interesting, something unusual. It's when I feel like my outfit lacks uh, personality. It's just, again, the same beige jumper or black trousers. Um, and I do love my classics. I absolutely love them. But maybe because of my personality, I get bored with my clothes sometimes. Not to the point that I need to go and buy new things. No, I just need some inspiration. I need to just add something different or combine things in a different way. So uh, number one for me is always my blue jumper. Uh, first of all, it's such a beautiful color because the fit in general is cropped and boxy. It's very interesting, uh, also because of the wide sleeves. Of course, it's cashmere, so it's very warm as well. It's a pick-me-up item on a gloomy, maybe rainy day. The second element I like to add with my derbies, with my trainers as well, is interesting socks. Wait for it. I have so many socks, gosh. Most of my socks are black because they are practical, but I love socks that add a little something. So I have this um, electric blue again. I have a few different uh, nude with gold and I have some silver, darker and lighter. Like this one, I would just wear it with black trousers, cropped trousers with my derbies. Yes, I keep my ankles warm, but in a more interesting and fun way. The last element that can finish off the look, can add something really interesting, especially in winter when you just, you know, you're all covered with your coat, your scarf and everything, is a really nice handbag. This is my very favorite uh, bag by Polish designer Zofia Hulak. Uh, you know it well, very practical, but above all, it's a beautiful bag that has a texture and a lot of hardware, so it's very interesting. Either with just all black, with black coat, or with 
a cream jacket for example um, yeah very nice love this one but also I really love geometric um, shapes uh, patterns on your clothes just some kind of stitching or something like that and this bag I think it's so different so unique it's a crossbody, really nice short strap, you can make it even shorter and that's the reason why my daughter wanted to steal it from me uh, I'm not sure if it's not gonna happen anyway but it's very handy, it fits everything in there, you can see it's quite <laughs> big it adds this really cool element again, in general this is quite a classic bag classic shape but it's got this uh, interesting buckle here and it just makes a whole difference and it doesn't matter if you wear it with a black coat a beige coat it will stand out it will make the outfit more interesting that's it from me today i hope after this video the concept of a winter capsule wardrobe will be more appealing to you because remember our clothes can serve different purposes they can be practical and versatile, but they can also be interesting and fun. They can be a tool for you to express yourself, to express your feelings, emotions. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for uh, waiting for me to come back after my break. Thank you for being patient and I will really try to be very strict with posting my videos weekly. I want to uh, focus even more on creativity, on um, re-wearing your clothes, on second-hand shopping. So I hope this will be fun for all of us and I hope you will stick with me for this journey. Bye!